Hi, my name is Don Berryhill. I'm also known as the Laser Coach. And I'm going to give a presentation that I call How to Buy a Laser Without Getting Burned. I think this is a very important topic for a lot of potential laser buyers because it's really confusing for a lot of people how to navigate this whole process of buying a laser or selling a laser. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. And I will pull this up. So, so again, the title is called How to Buy or Sell a Laser Without Getting Burned. So I try to give information that I've learned over many years for how to help you become a better educated consumer when you're trying to either purchase or sell a laser. So a little bit about my background. I, I began working with uh, surgical lasers in the early 90s, and then I got into the aesthetic laser business basically when it started taking off. So I've seen it pretty much all the way through. I want to use that experience to help um, my clients, my customers become, uh, uh, help them with the business of lasers of how to become better edu educated consumers because there's so much misinformation out there and confusion. And um, it's just, you know, if you don't know, uh, have an insight or an inside idea of what's going on in, in this whole industry, it can be very challenging. Uh, some of the things I offer is advanced staff training. Uh, I can help you maximize the use of your current lasers and equipment. Uh, I can help in some ways with your marketing uh, efforts. And if you're looking for equipment, I can oftentimes help find the best deals. So anyway, let's get in this and we'll go through it. So how do you pick the best laser device for your practice or med spa? And a common denominator that I've seen over the years is uh, most people don't know what they don't know. So it's my job to help you understand some of that. So what are some of the issues that you should consider uh, when you're looking at a laser? So first of all, you've got to choose your wavelength. So there's different wavelengths. There's, nobody's inventing new wavelengths. They're all slices of the electromagnetic spectrum, and they all have very specific characteristics on tissue. Um, so you just need to know what those wavelengths will do for your patients. Uh, you know, what options do you want to consider with your laser? Is it, you know, are, are you constrained on size? Um, you know, um, does it need to be really fast? You need to avoid um, having, um, you know, disposables. Uh, does it need to be easy to use because you're going to de delegate it to different staff uh, members? Um, lots and lots of things to consider for your options, and I can help you walk through a lot of those. So, and then price range. These lasers can range anywhere from typically $50,000 up to, I just heard one, one quoted totally loaded for $420,000. So there's a big price range, and you need to understand or, or decide, you know, where you want to be price-wise. Uh, You've got to be able to, to uh, get through the manufacturer's claims because a lot of times this, the uh, laser physics are kind of, uh, kind of stretched a little bit on how it's going to work. And you need to really be able to look through, uh, you know, what you're seeing from the manufacturer. And I can help you out with a lot of that. A lot of these lasers, if you're looking at certain specific wavelengths from one laser to the other, uh, there's more similarities than differences. Uh, but the differences can be important. So the differences can be in the details. And I, and I, I've walked through that as well. Uh, so, uh, you know, staff training, if you're going to get a new laser, you know, how much is needed? How, how, uh, uh, how much experience does your staff have? Are they starting from scratch, you know, and that's something to negotiate with the company. Um, you know, if you're going to need extra training, you know, is your current staff pretty confident? And that's one thing that I've seen, from the users that are really good is they're very confident in their abilities. Um, you know, uh, you know, how can you increase if you just, it's not just if you buy the laser, they will come. It's how can you increase the volume and how can your, your staff in, increase and maximize the use of this, this device. Um, and one thing I've, I've really learned in the aesthetic industry, it's all about emotion. It's, this is, these treatments, uh, if they're cosmetic and aesthetic strictly, they're not something people have to do. It's something they choose to do. And so you and your staff need to really understand how to um, uh, help get people get excited about uh, getting the treatments from you and your facility. Um, another issue, some other issues, uh, service and financing. So 
Do you need extended warranties? These can be really expensive. Uh, most of the manufacturers, their their um, uh, service departments are separate profit centers, so they're really going to try to sell you these these uh, warranties. And a lot of times they're not they're not needed. You can just pay for parts and service as you go. Uh, something to consider is the laser. Look, you're looking at can you get third party service so you don't have to use the manufacturer if you don't want to for whatever reason. Sometimes it doesn't work out well, and some people don't want to deal with the, the laser service department. Uh, um, so financing options: Have you? Do you know how you're going to finance this laser? So if it's a really expensive laser, uh, sometimes uh, or not necessarily super expensive, but um, I've had many people tell me, "Hey, I want I want you to help me, you know, with this one laser or get this laser or or whatever," and they, they put all their effort on it and they decide that and they move way on down the road and then they go look for financing options and they find out they can't get fully financed. So then it's like, okay, back to square one. You've got to figure out what can work within your budget. So it's really good to get pre-approved for your financing up front because it puts you in a stronger uh, negotiating position as well. So what's the right system for your needs, not the needs of the rep representative that's trying to sell it to you? Um, so obviously figure out your desired treatments as specifically as you can, you know, is your uh, choice to buy the laser strictly clinical? So you're a dermatologist and you need something for deep vascular lesions and port wine stains, and that's really it. Uh, or is it, you know, clinical and financial? You're you wanting to, you know, make a, make some good revenue off of these, off of this expensive purchase. And that's mostly the case, obviously in the aesthetic world. So figuring out your budget. Um, you know, does it fit? Are you comfortable with that price range? Uh, what are your predominant skin types? That makes a huge difference. You know, are they mostly lighter skin uh, folks or you have darker skin people or a mix or whatever? And that's going to determine, uh, you'll need to really determine what kind of laser, uh, specific wavelengths and how it operates that you'll need. Who's going to be operating it? Is it the physician or technician or multiple technicians? Is it going to be dele delegated? And if so, to a lot of people, it should probably be pretty easy to use. Uh, you know, is it, do you need an uh, expandable platform? You know, if you're gonna expand uh, with this device or, you know, buy other devices as you're, you know, as you determine that you need them and are you gonna buy new or used? That's a huge decision for a lot of people. Uh, so you wanna eliminate your surprises. Uh, you wanna know what the real capabilities of uh, the laser you're considering is because a lot of times, I've talked to laser buyers that later on down the road, they're like, I didn't realize it would it, that it was really good at this, but it really won't do that. You know, I thought it would do all this, but it really does this. So you need to understand uh, and you need to understand the details of the contract. These contracts for, for new lasers from, from manufacturers are typically pretty, pretty long, a lot of fine print, and you need to understand what's in it, you know? So go through that in detail. Uh, what's what's involved in your training? Who's going to do the training? When are they going to show up? How long are they going to be there? How much can you follow up with them? And at some point, you know, when will you be charged for additional training? Um, <clears throat> and here's a tip. When they do come to train you, videotape it so you can use that and show it to other staff members. You know, how much warranty is enough? And should you buy the extended warranty when you buy the laser? Maybe, maybe not. So what kind of service do, do the companies provide? Is it depot, which means your laser or handpiece or part will be shipped back to the manufacturer, repaired and sent back to you, or on site? So some lasers are just too big and heavy. They just, it's too cost prohibitive to ship these things back. Um, so you know, it might be a mix of those. Uh, what's your return on investment? You know, if, uh, you know, figure out your numbers, how many treatments are you gonna need to do a week? and a month to make the kind of revenue that you need from it. And is it upgradable? Like I mentioned, if you plan to expand on it, uh, some of these lasers are actually built to where, you know, the, the next feature that's really good, you know, maybe it's upgradable and maybe it's not and you need to try to find out. So there are different kind of buyers in this industry. So some are early adopters. I know some uh, owners of really fancy med spas and um, physicians that they want to be on the cutting edge of the latest technology out there. And they're willing to spend the money. Big bucks, boom, jump in early. 
be the first ones to bring this new technology to their community. And that's a very viable business plan. It's just expensive. So, you know, uh, um, the, the good and the bad about this is you're going to pay a premium for the technology, but the treatment prices will be the highest because typically these things, if something new comes along and it becomes hot, it's hot for a couple of years and then more competitors come out or it gets watered down or something else comes along. So you'll be able to charge the most. So buying new versus used. So one of the advantages of buying new, obviously you're going to get the latest version or you hope. Um, sometimes, uh, you know, lasers, they, you know, the manufacturers just kind of change the shells on them each year or the software or a little bit, but, uh, you know, it'll be a brand new machine. Um, you'll have the settings for the latest treatments that uh, the company is suggesting or offering. You'll get, you know, training and marketing support. However, you got to remember a lot of these are, are these laser manufacturers are not marketing companies. So the marketing that you get is going to be pretty minimal, uh, regardless of what most of them tell you. Uh, that's not their business. Uh, you're oftentimes better off hiring a separate marketing company for this. And you get the warranty, the manufacturer's warranty. So disadvantages, you're going to pay a premium. These things depreciate faster than a new car. I mean, boom, you know, they go down quick. And then um, some of them do have planned obsolescence where, you know, the company is looking at, you know, next year's or the year after where you're going to need something that's, that's you know, better, faster, bigger, whatever. Um, so they may be going to school on you. And I've seen this where, because I've worked for manufacturers in sales and marketing and training. And uh, sometimes a, a company will release a brand new expensive version of a laser and they have a few of those, but they have more of kind of more advanced versions that they want to kind of see how it goes with the first ones. And then when they do their full launch, it may be a little bit different. So they may be going to school on Buying used. Uh, advantages, saving money. That's pretty much the big deal. It You really have to know what you're doing if you're buying used though, because for a number of reasons. Well, one is some devices are simply better to buy used than others. And some devices you don't wanna buy used. And unless you really know this industry, you just don't know. And this is a big part of the, you don't know what you don't know, part of this industry. So, you know, for example, you have to be really careful if you buy a used device that um, uses proprietary disposables. Maybe it's got a tip that's chipped to that handpiece or that machine, and it can only be used with that machine. So uh, you have to go back to the manufacturer um, for those tips. You can't get them on the open market. And a lot of time, most of the time, these companies will charge uh, people that buy used and go back to the company outrageous recertification fees to be able to register with the company and start buying parts and supplies and all this kind of stuff. It's really crazy. Um, you need to know what will show up because a lot of times some of these brokers are people in a, you know, bedroom ha that has a virtual inventory that, you know, advertises a, a laser. It looks like a fantastic deal, but they don't have it. It's just to get your attention and then get a deposit and or get the money up front. And then they go try to find something that will be close to that. And so what's going to show up and how are you going to protect yourself? So the main thing about the used laser too is that it shows up in like new operating condition. It won't necessarily be in like new um, cosmetic condition, but you want to know it's working like it should. Uh, you know, can it be serviced? That's a huge thing on the used market. You know, um, because some of these lasers, you really can't. You can't go to third-party uh, technicians because they can't get parts and they can't get in the machines because of rotating locking codes or whatever it may be. Uh, you know, and if you do buy used, you're going to get a minimal warranty because these used dealers, they're not in the business of service. You know, they're they're selling you a laser at a greatly reduced price. And then it's going to, you know, you need to have something that shows up in lightning operating condition, but then that dealer should help you uh connect with service people that can take care of it. Uh, so you don't have to, so you can avoid recertification fees. And again, you got to really be careful with the disposables on this. So finally, uh, if you're dealing with a brand new, you know, buying a new machine from one of the big laser companies 
and you've done this before, you will very much understand this. These laser sales reps have a reputation for really high pressure sales tactics. And because they get a lot of pressure from management because they're public companies maybe or, or private, but they get a lot of pressure to move lasers big time. And that passes on to the person. And I know I've worked for manufacturers and sales. I hated it. I hated the pressure um, of dealing with that. And a lot of reps just work for different companies. They're kind of like hired guns, you know, because they're, they're good at doing high pressure sales. So you've got to be careful. And um, part of what I can do is, Help you become a master negotiator and get the best deal. So a little bit about what I do, and I'll wrap this up. So I do consulting. I, I, I use my experience in this industry for over 25 years to help people, like I say, become better educated consumers. So I can do advanced staff training. A lot of times there's been a lot of turnover in an office. Say so you've already got lasers, but they don't really understand how they work, you know, or how they compare to other devices with each other. Uh, I can help you review your sales contracts. So if you are negotiating with a rep, I can help you save tens of thousands of dollars sometimes, or thousands for sure. Uh, I can review and assess your current lasers. A lot of times people don't really know if they're in good shape or if they need to get something adjusted or if they need this or do they need to buy a warranty or uh, you know, how can it be done differently or used in combination with other devices. Um, uh, again, help with dealing with sales reps. Uh, fine tune your marketing efforts uh, just because I've a lot of it because I've been in so many offices and I've worked with so many people and I've seen people be successful and not be successful. Plus, I have really good contacts for marketing and financing. So, one of the things is if I can't help you, I can find somebody who can. I can be your guide, I can be your, uh, your person to help you out with this. I also um, oftentimes help people find new and used lasers. Uh, maybe, uh, or buyers for your equipment, because I know, I know the players, I know, and I will be there in the middle to help everything be, go smoothly, and to help take care of you, you know, during the sale, after the sale, and uh, you'll have somebody, you know, on your, on your team to do this, not only to help find the best deal, so, yeah, you know, a lot of times somebody will say, you know, I want this kind of laser, but I don't want to spend that much money. So I can a lot of times find less expensive alternatives that are just as good and, you know, or used, but that can help you negotiate that. So um, so if I do come to train um, the staff, so we go through a number of things, the history of lasers, basic laser physics, to help with their technical proficiency. Uh, talk about the combination therapies for uh, better results. I call it laser math. A lot of times I can show people how to make one plus one equal four in terms of better results. Uh, help the staff really understand the expectations for clinical outcomes with their technology. Um, how to really discuss these treatments with patients. Um, uh, give them a really good detailed explanation of how your equipment works and how it compares to others out there so they can feel confident when they talk to patients and training on how to sell more of these services, how to get people excited to want to bring their friends in and do other treatments and all that kind of stuff. So that's some, some of the things that I, I help with. So anyway, here's my um, contact information and please reach out, uh, give me a call, uh, shoot me an email and uh, be happy to help you out however I can. And thanks for watching. So that's it for me, thanks.